Don't with Q, okay? Get him out! Get him out! Get him out. Get him out. Shh, look at my If you want to fight me, we can take jackets off and we go hand to hand. If you come to the wedding, we're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's up. Are you okay, though? I'm a little bruised up. I'm at a point where it's like, why would you... Love you. Why would you do that? <laughs> that dude... I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. That dude. <laughs> you said that shit, though. You going to sleep. <laughs> Set the alarm. <laughs> sorry to go to sleep. Nap, nap. <laughs> Yo, this was the funniest scene all season, hands down, and, and trust me, we had our moments. And no joke, like, Mike never really acted the same around Georgie after this. Like, it's been peace, love, unity, respect. But anyways, here we go again with part three, the trilogy, final chapter of this incredible season of Darcy and Stacy. And man, this season was a banger. Now remember in the last episode, Darcy was introduced to her new boy toy Zach, bragged about him with Mike in front of Georgie, only for Georgie to get jealous and Mike tries to check him, and Georgie simply just picks him up, tucks him in, and read him a bedtime story. You going to sleep? <laughs> and now Mike is forever traumatized and living with Vietnam flashbacks, so if you ever see Mike wearing a tactical plated vest armory, now you know why. Now we ended up finding out later in the episode why Georgie was feeling some type of way. Talk to me about Georgie. Did you and Georgie hook up? Happened randomly. He was in town. We met up. I just felt very vulnerable and it was a hookup. I regret it. What happened in Miami, I just wanted to forget that. Uh, hey. There's more important things right now. Yeah, like Zach, who she literally went to see like two days after this. So I hate to break it to you, Georgie, but you were the one day band-aid. But funny enough, Georgie seems to be the only person on planet Earth who didn't get the memo. What happened in Miami was one night and I just wanted to forget that. But a couple weeks ago, we had hook up. Yeah, see, I don't know what's going on with Georgie. Like he went from Mr. Dripping Riz, Principal Gary at Georgie to now Ryan Punani on the daily curious Georgie. Who who are you dating now? What the hell? I tell you, Georgie change. Who probably needs to channel his little Princess Elsa. Let it go. Let it go, Georgie. I tell you, Georgie change. But hey, we're about to deep dive into all of this and wrap it up. I'm excited. I know you're excited. So we gotta strike while the iron's hot. That's right, baby. So hey, without further ado, <laughs> let's get to it. Praise be to the God above at the night. All I wanna do is love, I don't wanna fight. Sauce. Wow. Look Hi. At, how are you? Good. <laughs> Look amazing. Seeing Zach again. It's actually even cuter than what I remember. Which you want to try first? Uh, the balls. I knew it. I, uh, yeah. I, I just knew it. Jesus. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Try that's one good. of these little guys. I'm yeah, just, I'll, I'll, just yeah, that's a little guy. I like the big <laughs> balls. He has big balls. He like the first date I saw him, I couldn't like keep my eyes off of it. He's packing down there. <laughs> like I like how anytime we see this guy, it's not, hey Zach, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> what you been up to, amigo? No, it's always. Hey, Zach, uh, did you know there's a brachiosaurus just bulging out of your pantalones? Ouch! I can tell. Like, if I learned anything from watching Milf Manor is that these older women, for better or worse, have, like, no filter, no shame or regard for any modern decency. I'll be in the hot tub at 10. Sorry, ladies. I might be sleeping with your son. Like, it's always, oh, hey, nice to meet you, Zach. Oh, oh my God, dude. Didn't know you were packing down there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Between me and you, I got more neck than a brachiosaurus for your brachiosaurus. Yeah, that sounded so weird. Uh, I don't know why I said that. But anyways, here she is with Mr. Intermittent Celibacy. And speaking of which, like, I made a joke about him last week, right? All, All I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say, say is, is following, following his, his logic, logic, I should, I should be the next Dalai, Dalai Lama, Lama by now. Lord have mercy on that to bus. And literally, the same exact day. See the Dalai Lama sucking on that kid's tongue. <laughs> what? What the <laughs> fuck? I'm not sure which culture has you request that a young boy suck your tongue. Weirdo. That is to put it very, very kindly. This is sick behavior. I don't care what I don't, this is not defensible. Hey, look, I'm not here to say who's right or who's wrong. I'm just saying, like, the one time I make a Dalai Lama joke, it ages like doo-doo water. <laughs> like, what are the odds? Huh. But Darcy's here today hoping to invite Zach to Stacy's wedding, right? After everything that just went down. 
It's like, wow, wow, Dars, uh, you seem to openly want to invite chaos and drama into your life with no sense of logical reasoning. It's almost as if she wants to sabotage Stacy's wedding, <laughs> you know? Actually. What are you going to do if Georgie comes? Is he coming? Set the alarm! <laughs> going to sleep! <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Is he coming? Do you know? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Hi! Hello. It's so hard to see Georgie here. It's really uncomfortable and awkward. Zach's gonna be here tomorrow for Stacy's wedding, and I just don't want any of this drama to be around him. <laughs> Way back. Whoa. <laughs> Imagine if they did a double wedding. Oh, uh, yeah, it's gotta be tough to be Georgie in this situation because outside of Florian, everyone here hates your guts. And I like how they all just have to like pretend to like him. Hey, 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 hey. How are you? He's like he's lost a bit of weight, which is like good for him. Like post breakup glow up, I guess. Oh my God, is that who I think it is? Hey Georgie, how have you been? How have you been? Yeah, fuck Georgie, man. He was such a downer, bro. Looks like he lost some weight too. Like good for you, bro, but no one cares. Like in the gym now too. Like what a douche. <laughs> Now it gets weirder, right? Because Georgie's Florian's best man and Darcy's the maid of honor. So now they're both put into this weird, awkward situation of both having to walk down the aisle together. And remember, like these two, not too long ago, were supposed to get married on the same day. Twin wedding, twin wedding, twin wedding. And I assume everyone at the wedding knows that. So now it's kind of like doing a public walk of shame to remind everyone of your failed engagement. Shame. Shame. While pretending to be happy doing so. And then we'll have Georgie and Darcy come together. Okay, so if you want to interlock arms and hold the bouquet, you can do that or just hold the bouquet. What is easiest? Oh, the bouquet. All right, so you guys are going to walk down the aisle. It's just weird to me. It's I'm sorry. still just. It's weird. Right. I feel like we're both just going to have to suck it up because I just yes. don't want any bad energy at my wedding. I get it. We're just gonna have to put a big smile on our faces. Yeah. Walk down that aisle. You know, I just like how throughout the whole event, like the dad is just iconically aloof and oblivious to everything that's going on. Man, I don't even want to be here. Like it's hot, and dusty. Got to stand behind this European light pole. Want to be mafia? Like, what in the Joe Biden's even going on right now? Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. What? Wealthy kids. Black kids. Asian kid. Like at one point he even stated that he was unsure this wedding covenant was even gonna last. The question is, will they have a happy long life together? I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't know. Now whether or not Darcy's aware of it and contrary to what she believes as quote unquote being mature, she still very much goes out of her way to poke the bear per se and make situations more pettier than they ought to be. Yeah, you heard me, Georgie. You heard me, little boy. Like poke the bear all you want, Darcy, but at some point he will bite back. <laughs> like so. Darcy. Isn't, um, don't you have a date coming? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Whoa, 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 what? I do have a date for the wedding. <laughs> He's a very nice guy, and he actually, like, mentors kids that have been bullied. I like that. He, like, helps them get confidence, like teenagers. I like that. Yeah, it don't look like a good match. <laughs> I'm just saying. That was very really rude. Nice thing to say. Yeah. Zigzag. Yeah. Zach, I don't need to see him, I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. See, I don't even know why anybody's surprised that Georgie's acting out talking crazy. Like, you guys literally all sat here and egged him on. Yeah, Zach is awesomely, amazingly perfect. Like, he mentored kids that have been bullied by bullies. Oh, and did I mention he mentored kids that have been bullied by bullies? You know, like how you bullied me throughout our whole relationship. So yeah, after getting ganged up and treated like secondhand doo-doo water, Georgie decided to go ahead and just spill the tea. Hey. Fuck it. You guys don't know something. Me and Darcy, a couple weeks ago in Miami, we do something that we f sex. What? You guys had sex? Is that true? Is it true, Darcy? I apologize to f you, okay? I like that. <laughs> I'm so pissed off with Georgie. All he wants to do is sabotage my life. Now, Stacy's obviously upset with this newfound revelation because her and Florian had to deal with Darcy all season, throwing a fit about Georgie being at the wedding. Acting like uh, uh, the victim. Yeah, here she is doing butterfly strokes with old Georgie. That's a hypocrite. And not really the victim. Yeah, baby. But you know, I was just thinking, you know who really should have been upset? Oh, blue hair Mike man. Like this man took a two piece KFC chicken platter, went defending Darcy, and here she is going night-night with the same guy to put him to night-night. That's a hypocrite. And Darcy's excuse for this atrocity was... Scared. 
lonely, vulnerable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how Mike felt when he did his involuntary afternoon nap on the bar floor. Scared, lonely, vulnerable. Now to avoid further atrocity, like Darcy decided it would probably be best to cancel her previous wedding invite to her new boy toy Zach, literally on the day of the wedding. Like keep in mind, they're in Connecticut. He flew in from Miami. So you can assume he wasn't too thrilled. <laughs> can you imagine Georgie's face when Zach walks in? <sighs> Something bad's gonna happen and I need to let Zach know it's probably not a good idea if he shows. Hey, how are you? Okay, how are you? Good, excited to see you. <laughs> um, just wanted to let you know, I feel like because of the situation, if maybe we can meet after Stacy's wedding. Oh. I, uh... Wow. So, now we'll come to the wedding. Take care. Wow. That was cold blooded. Like, look, I'm proud of you, Darcy, for putting Stacy's best interests above your own. I just thought it was a tad bit late to be doing so, but, uh, hey, better late than never. <laughs> Easy for me to say, though, because I'm, I'm not Zach, who was abandoned, probably in some hotel in the middle of Connecticut, just meditating the moon rocks all day. Better late than never. But never late is better. Now the wedding ceremony commenced and for the most part it was a beautiful ceremony. By the power vested in me by this great state of Connecticut, I repronounce you husband and wife. I'm very happy to see my wife happy. Nah, nah, let's keep it a buck, Florian. You're happy because you're set for life and probably won't need to work for the foreseeable future. That is the most beautiful woman I see in my life. Like at one point, it seems like he was ready for all of this to be done and over with. I'm very happy to see my wife happy. Oh yeah, and totally can't miss Darcy walking out with Georgie just doing the most, <laughs> per usual. So I need to try to hold your hand. No, no. <laughs> now besides that, like for the most part, everything else seems to be going well. Too well, may I say. And so of course, uh, Michael Ben, <laughs> who else decided to go off script? We're good. Tonight's about Stacy. Oh, actually, should I say stay flossy, right? I don't think Michael Benz was on the list to give a toast. So I'm gonna give the king the crown. Own it, baby. I, you know, I'm inspired tonight. Like, no bull You went to the ends of the earth for this woman. That's, that's, you can't, like, and Stace, I mean, this is your this is your prince. Yeah, see, if I'm Stacy at this point. Stop poverty! Stop poverty! And when I say security, what I really mean is Georgie. You're going to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> Set the alarm! <laughs> and Florian looked like he was playing along for a minute, but midway through, he looked like he was holding on to dear life. Not to hand this man a two piece KFC chicken platter. Now, speaking of Georgie, he too was holding on to dear life. But to Darcy, like he must have seen something, like he must have seen Florian secure the bag, blessed up, you know, sleeping in silk with not a care in the world, <laughs> probably made him regret what he lost. So in the final scenes, he decided to pull Darcy aside and give it a last ditch effort. Okay, what do you have to say? I still love you, I just care about you, and I want to fight for you, and I'm going to fight for you. The past <laughs> is the past, I've moved on, I've healed, I just... want to keep it too. I want you to didn't see make me happy. How many times did we break up, make up, got engaged twice? Come on. So that means we just want to be friends or what? It's what it is. <sighs> Good night. Mm, careful what you wish for. Let me breathe. <laughs> this girl Darcy is crazy. Like, why is everything so dramatic from the wedding walk all the way down to this last scene? Like for a minute, I forgot we were watching Stacy and Darcy and I thought we were watching like a, a telenova or something. You know, just had to give Georgie that one last petty look, you know. <laughs> but what I will say is I'm proud of Darcy, you know, for standing her ground and holding her principle against Georgie. I know old Darcy had a hard time doing this with men she was attracted to, so hey, props for self-growth. Then again, you know, hold that opinion with a grain of salt because it has yet to be tested. Um, it's easy to stand on your principal and ground when there's another man waiting in the background currently meditating the moon rocks. <laughs> Cause all we know is the last time Darcy was lonely. Scared. Lonely. Vulnerable. You know, things happened. Yeah, that pretty much wrapped up this entire incredible season of Darcy and Stacy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I did. 
Can't wait to see what happens with her and Zag. For some reason, I just get an odd feeling about Zag. Like, you know, it's too good to be true. Just feel like he's chasing Cloud, but we'll find out. Needless to say, I didn't mean to keep you guys waiting this long for this video. I had a lot of personal stuff that came up. So thank you guys for being patient with me. As always, continue to like, comment, subscribe, tune in, and uh, I'll be posting. See you then. But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping like one rapper, two rapper, three rapper, four. All these bodies in my closet, I know that most of my favorite rappers wasn't spitting like me at the age of 19. Make a motherfucker think that my idols, my rivals, and I never lose. So my idols get slotted and thrown in the trenches. I snipe from a distance like boom, pow. I reload and I empty the clip on a pussy motherfucker with a lick in his bio, like single day, my own.